All right, so uh, we're here during the, 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 the lock-in or the home reserve or the pandemic or whatever you want to call it, um, trying out some new equipment. Um, this would be sort of a poor man's version of rides or whatever. Um, so I think I told this story enough times I can get through it relatively quickly. Um, so in 1992 when I graduated, my dad bought me a 1980 Cougar uh, XR7. Silver, nice car, gray interior. Uh, but it had the two, uh, what was it, the two, the 4.2 liter V8. Um, so long story short, um, I took a bus to Florida, drove the car back to Michigan, um, met a girl, got married, had kids, the car withered away, um, to never to be seen again. So um, the second part of that story was that when my dad wanted to go on pop, hot rod power tour, uh, I couldn't find a Cougar, and my, it was my goal was to find a Cougar, like I had, you know, originally, like he had originally got me. So I couldn't find one, so I found a 1981 Thunderbird. Um, went, picked it up in a snowstorm, brought it back, um, put it all on YouTube uh, for power tour, getting the car, uh, doing the, um, you know, fixing it up, and then every day on power tour we did a video vlog um, that you can find on my YouTube channel. And then uh, when it was all said and done, um, I decided to sell the car. Uh, for a couple of reasons. Um, one, it needed a little bit of work. The transmission was leaking. Um, it was real rusty um, in the fenders and the bottom of the doors were rusty. Quarters were starting to rust through. Um, and the main thing was I always wanted a Cougar. So um, got rid of that, uh, sold that for, for 3K. Um, so then the third part of the story is that I looked all over the country for a Cougar and I found this one down in Orlando, Florida. Uh, so on Thanksgiving Day, me and my 15-year-old son flew out, um, to, got to Orlando late at night. A friend gave us a ride, put it all on YouTube, um, took us to the car. We didn't even drive the car. We just started up, gave him the money, and took off. Um, had all kinds of problems on the way home. It was a riot. We had a lot of fun. Um, but, you know, in the end, um, you know, we ended up getting the car home and, and didn't have a lot of problems. Uh, so once I got the car... I had kind of thought that I would sell the car at some point. Um, the only drawback to that is I don't think for the money I can find another car that looks this nice and is this clean. Um, it's a solid car. It's got the 302. Um, underneath is spotless. Doors are spotless. Fenders, quarters, everything is spotless. Down inside the trunk, spotless. Floor is spotless. You know, everything is spotless on it. Um, one drawback is the car wasn't really optioned that well. Um, it doesn't have crews. Um, there's a few things it doesn't have um, that I, I kind of wish it had. Um, it has the, dry, the passenger side mirror and it has wiper delay and it has power windows but no power locks. So um, there's a few things that, you know, it was kind of optioned weird. So anyways, um, we'll kind of do like a little walk around of the car and um, give me something to edit and give me something to do and try out my new equipment and uh, we'll, you know, see what happens. So one thing about the cars that, um, probably doesn't really come across to anyone except the enthusiasts like me. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I went like almost probably 28 years without owning one of these. You know, I had one when I was uh, 17 and I got one again when I was 44, 44 or something. So, but I think what doesn't come across to everyone is, is what great cars these were. They were small, they handled good. They were basically a Fox body Mustang. Uh, they drove good they were you know they got good gas mileage you get one with the 302 you know you were doing good and i don't think it comes across to everybody i think everybody kind of lumps them in with the 70s thunderbirds and cougars that you know at the time were a, a really popular car but then later on you know by the end of the 80s you know no one cared you know people when i bought this car and i was flying to florida to get it people told me you know i, I gave away a good run in 78 cougar to the junkyard you know but I don't think people realize, you know, that these cars are sort of distinct in themselves, that they were only 80, 81, and 82, so they were a short-run car. If you go to Facebook and you search 78 Cougar, you'll find a dozen of them. If you put in, you know, 1980 Cougar, you won't find any, you know, depending on where you're at. Same thing with the Thunderbirds. Um, you pretty much find 10 Thunderbirds from this era to every one Cougar you find. Uh, so, anyways, I was really happy to get the car. Um, it's been, been a great car since I've had it. Uh, I've been driving the heck out of it. I put about three or 4,000 miles on it in the last few months um, from getting it and driving it and then when the weather cleared up. So I'm going to keep driving the car all summer long. I was hoping to take it on Hot Rod Power Tour 2020. 
Doesn't look like it's going to happen, but they haven't canceled it yet. So we'll see how it goes. Um, like I said, thanks for watching. Um, not a lot of content on the videos right now. You can only do so much. You can't travel. You can't do a whole lot. Um, but I'm still throwing out videos here and there. Keeps me sane. Um, like I said, make sure you subscribe. I'm up to 60. Woohoo, there's not that many of you. But the ones that are there are very quality subscribers. Um, so hopefully we can get up over 100. That'll kind of be a goal for me. Anyways, thanks for watching.